What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fatal Garage. I'm Josh Thonell and in today's episode we're going to be installing a pair of Morimoto XB headlights onto this 2020 Toyota 4Runner. First step I'm going to come over here to our driver side inner fender liner and I'm going to remove our one, two, three, number 10 bolts. And we have those bolts out of the way we want to go ahead and push in these tabs. Push in our tabs and then you want to go ahead and unhook your fog light next coming over here to the passenger side we want to go to undo the four bolts uh, the three bolts again one two three and these are number tens next we want to use our trim tool again and push these clips in and then you want to go ahead and reach in and do your fog light Next, moving underneath the car, we want to go ahead and remove this number 10 and this number 10. Uh, there's one on each side here. Next, moving to the center underneath, we want to remove this number 10 and this number 10. Go ahead and pop the hood. Next, you want to go ahead and find all your little clips here. And how you undo these actually is you press down and then it's actually undone. So you just want to go ahead and press these all down. Next, you want to go ahead and just snap these out. Uh, otherwise, uh, they kind of go flying uh, if you don't. Now that you've gone ahead and removed all your push clips, go ahead and remove this tray. Uh, there are two number 10s, two additional number 10s down here for another bracket. Next up, there is a push clip here and a push clip here that need to come off. Uh, and then also a 10 millimeter, but we are actually going to leave that for last. Uh, once we break both sides of the bumper free, uh, we'll undo this 10 millimeter that way we can pull it off uh, easily uh, as one person. Next on this particular vehicle there's a wiring harness down here uh, for this uh, front module uh, that's on this car. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Next we're going to go ahead and start pulling off the, the bumper cover here. Uh, you'll see on the first one that there is a nub. You want to go ahead and pull your bumper cover over that and then you'll see that your bumper cover will start to pull away. Now that both sides are pulled out uh, and all of our clips have been removed, we can go ahead and remove for this last 10 millimeter here in the center, uh, holding it on. Take that away. And then this entire front bumper comes off. Starting with the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and remove the headlight assembly now uh, so it requires a 10 millimeter here 10 millimeter here uh, so you're gonna need to pull pull this trim out of the way get to that 10 here uh, and then another 10 on the side now you get all the bolts removed now you just want to pull up a little bit to get it off these little nipples and pull it forward uh, next you want to go ahead back here and remove all of your wiring harnesses next you want to come over here to your fuse box and we're gonna wire up our jumper wire uh, here for our daytime running lights. Uh, so you want to go ahead and take the little fuse puller clip here. Uh, since we have a 2020 here, uh, we need to go ahead and find the EFI 2 uh, fuse. And we're going to go ahead and pull that. So you want to go ahead and plug your jumper here, or your fuse tap, uh, into that uh, EFI 2 location here for 2020. Uh, and it looks like we want to kind of route the wire uh, are out this way. So right here where it does uh, this 45 degree chamfer here, uh, right before it gets that on the straight, we're going to go ahead and notch a hole. To notch something like this, what I like to do is I like to just use a piece of uh, a pair of dikes here and I'll just come in here at about a 45 degree angle and cut. And then come in the other side and cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and test to see if that was a big enough cut here. Go ahead and lay the cable down roughly how I want it. Uh, I went, get, went ahead and cut a groove into the top cover as well, into that same spot. So let's go ahead and put our cover back on. Next, we want to go ahead and feed that wire uh, through up to here. Uh, this is where it'll come through for the driver's side headlight. Uh, there's a short end here. Uh, and then it continues on also for the passenger side. So for the passenger side, uh, we are actually going to feed it up and right behind the radiator, right along this seam. 
on over to the other side where we will plug that in later on. Uh, now we have it over here on the table. We're going to go ahead and remove this bracket. It's a Phillips head screw here and here. And then all we're going to go ahead and do is put this bracket onto our new headlights. Take your new headlight assembly here. Go ahead and pull back this plastic a little bit. Place your cover in place. Now that we got that bracket on, let's go ahead and put this headlight into the car. Now the new headlight plugs in into the same fashion as we unplugged it. So it's just a simple matter of reconnecting all of our plugs here. And then the only plug that's not uh, with our stock wiring harness obviously is this new plug that we routed from our fuse box. Next there's as well an option here. Uh, if you want the standard blinking uh, for the turn signal, I'll uh, go ahead and leave this connected. Uh, if you want the sequential uh, look to it, uh, then go ahead and disconnect these. We're gonna go ahead and leave it connected uh, because the customer wants them to be blinking. Next, we're gonna go ahead and feed our headlight back in. Next, you want to go ahead and reinstall the hardware. And now our driver's side is complete. Before we go ahead and move to the other side, uh, let me just go ahead and show you what the difference between the blinking and the sequential looks like. Uh, so you can go ahead and decide which one you want to go ahead and do. We are going to go ahead and do blinking on this particular car. Next, we're going to come over here to the passenger side and remove that headlight and do the same thing. Go ahead and reach in here and unplug your plugs just like you did on the other light. Now I wanna go ahead and bring in my passenger side headlight and I wanna go ahead and start doing these electrical connections just like we did on the driver's side. Now you want to also make sure that the plug is clipped together for this option uh, for the sequential or the blinking depending on what you did for the passenger side as well, or for the driver's side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up these plugs. And then one more plug here that we wanna make sure to bring in is our plug from the other side, which we haven't tucked away yet. Bring that over and plug that in as well. Now I want to go ahead and replace all of our number 10s. Uh, I like to get this one in here first. Now that we got our headlights back in, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick clean of everything here just because we don't know the next time we're going to be able to have the, the grill off. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put the grill back on. Now you want to go ahead and grab your front bumper here. Now on this one, uh, this is a 2020, there is another wiring harness here that I did not fill uh, that you need to disconnect uh, when you are doing this. So go ahead and reconnect that now. Uh, that plugs into a clip here that is attached to the body. Next, I just put the 10 millimeter in up top. You wanna to come over to either side and start uh, piecing your bumper together. You want to line it up here and then push it in. And then go over and do the other side. Now that our front bumper is back on, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect our electrical harness here in the front. Next, we wanna come up top here and put in, start putting in our push pins. And then there are four push pins down here as well. And then there are two additional number 10s uh, a little bit further down here. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up, this number 10 up. I just like to push in just a little bit further on the grill. Grab our tray that sits up top here and take off early on. And let's go ahead and put all those push clips back. Uh, these little clips here that we pressed in and then pulled out, uh, you wanna actually go ahead and press them all the way back through uh, to the other side. Uh, that way they go into the holes easily and then you press it down and now it's locked. So again, press it all the way back through and then press it down and then lock. And now we're done with the end of the hood. So now we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the bolts uh, along the bottom here uh, and inside the fender wells on either side. Uh, and then that should be able to go ahead and wrap up the install of this Morimoto XB headlights on this 4Runner. Next up on our reinstallation here, you want to go ahead and reach in and reconnect your fog lights. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and push these clips back in 
Next, we're gonna go ahead and install our 10 millimeters. Next, we wanna come over here and do the passenger side. All right, go ahead and reconnect that fog light now. After you went ahead and got your fog light hooked up, go ahead and press this back into place. Squeeze that all together. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our one, two, three bolts in. All right guys, so that's gonna go ahead and wrap the install here on this 2020 Toyota 4Runner uh, for these Morimoto XB headlights. Uh, if you did like this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more content just like this. And just like that, I'm out.